Good morning. It's April 1st, 2020. This morning I'm reading in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 1. I know I mentioned this passage of scripture recently when I spoke on the foreknowledge of God, the fact that God knows everything that uh, is to come, but something stuck out to me this morning that I wanted to share with you that was a bit of an encouragement to me, and I hope it will be to you as well. In Ephesians chapter 1, uh, beginning in verse 3, Paul uh, writes to the Ephesian church, he said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. That little phrase there, he hath made us accepted in the beloved, just stuck out to me this morning as I'm considering our relationship with Christ and my relationship with Christ. There are two things that we can look at when it comes to our relationship that are extremely important to understand, and that is the idea of position and condition, position and condition. And here Paul speaks specifically about our position in Christ. Um, I mentioned in the message on God's foreknowledge that God knows everything before it occurs. In his mind, he's seen it all. He, He sees the future as though it were our past. And because of that, in the mind of God, things have already happened, even though they have not in our time frame or in our timeline happened because God knows that they're going to take place. So Paul, speaking about foreknowledge and speaking about predestination, specifically in this passage, mentions that God predestinated us or God predetermined that we would be adopted God predetermined uh, that we would be his children. And we know God's predetermination is based on his foreknowledge, whom he foreknew. And he also did predestinate. The Bible tells us that. But here it talks about our position in Christ. Verse 6, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. My position with Christ is a constant. My position is always the same. According to God, I have been accepted. 100%. I do not need to earn God's acceptance. Often in life, we have relationships where we feel like we need to earn uh, someone's acceptance. And I think it's because of our fallen nature. I mean, we, we learn not to trust everyone based on what it is they say. Because we know man is sinful, man has a fallen nature. So oftentimes we have to work at being accepted. Now, sadly, sometimes we have to work at being accepted in relationships we should never have to work at being accepted, such as a parent-child relationship or even a marital relationship with a spouse, a husband and a wife. Um, But here we see in Christ, we are accepted. And we're not accepted based on anything we do have done. It says to the praise of the glory of his grace, we're accepted by the grace of God. There is nothing that I can do that makes me accepted with God. And further, there is nothing I can do that makes me more accepted with God. My position with God is secure. I'm a child of God. I have been accepted by him into his family, adopted by him into his family, never ever to have that revoked or taken away. My position with God is is concrete. It never changes. But that being the case, what I need to be careful of then is my condition with God. My condition can change. My position never will. I will always be God's child. But my condition uh, needs to be carefully guarded and taken care of by me. My condition with God can vary from day to day based on how it is I live. Now, just like, uh, uh, to give an example, uh, Every one of us that has ownership over something understands the idea between the difference between me owning it and me maintaining it. You know, I have a vehicle and that vehicle is a good vehicle. That vehicle gets me around and more so. It's very nice. Um, And its position is set. It's mine. Nobody else owns it. I own the title to it. It's clear and free. It's my car. But the condition of that car is going to be based on what I do with it. If I drive it rough, that'll affect the condition of that vehicle. 
if I'm hard on the brakes, if I'm hard on the transmission, if I don't get oil changes regularly, if I don't care, take care of the filters, if I don't have uh, the tires rotated, if I don't do the maintenance of the vehicle, the condition of the vehicle will change. But if I maintain it very well, the condition of it will be uh, in, in good for a long time. And that's the same thing with our relationship with God. Our position is set. We will always be his child. We're accepted. Rejoice. It is by God's grace you're accepted, not by your works or by anything you've done. It is God's grace and to the glory of his grace. But when it comes to our condition, we need to carefully guard that every day. Satan is after us. The world is no friend to the Christian. The flesh through in which we live is prone to weakness, failure, and lust. The greatest security we have then is to walk with Christ, stay close to him, and maintain good relationship with him so our condition will remain the same or as close to it as we possibly can. Now, again, our position will never change regardless of what we do, but let us all seek to maintain a good condition with the Lord. God bless, and we pray that we'll get to see everybody again very soon.